Hi, it's Rob the Fix-It Guy again. Uh, we've got a nice sunny day today. We've got a little bit of spring coming in and I had to tackle a job here on my vehicle that uh, fortunately was a little bit annoying in the winter. What was happening was is the rear wiper um, was starting to move very slowly as it was uh, doing the uh, the clearing of the glass um, and over time it was going slower and slower and now it's gotten to the point where it'll only come up about this much and then you turn it off and then it'll come back down. Did a little bit of research, found out that in fact it's the shaft inside that connects the wiper to the motor. Apparently corrosion gets created inside that shaft and then it doesn't uh, spin very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart. I'm going to show you how to do that. I didn't see any videos on YouTube exactly for this particular vehicle. This is a uh, Buick Rainier, uh, very similar to the uh, Trailblazer, Chevy Trailblazer, also the uh, GMC Envoy. Um, same exact vehicle, just, just different uh, branding. Okay, step one, I'm going to pop open the hatch here. And what I'm going to do is, there's a little plastic, um, um, I guess, quick fit. We're just going to pull this off. And what that's going to do is allow us to take off the back cover. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And uh, what we're going to do next, we're going to close this back up. Actually, you know what, we can probably uh, leave this open for now. We're going to take this cover off next. So I've got just um, kind of a, a sharp sort of pin type uh, point here so that I can just gently pull out the cover and it slides right out. Okay, next I've got uh, my cordless impact gun. You can do this by hand as well. It's a 13 millimeter socket on here. And if you look inside here, there is a nut um, that needs to be removed. All right, so I'm gonna slip this on here Make sure I have it in reverse. No, well, there we go. And now I'm gonna remove the nut. There we go, we've got the nut out. So what you may have to use most likely, if you haven't had this uh, wiper arm off ever or in a very long time, you may have to use a puller. Um, what you will find, because this is, is plastic, the threads on the shaft um, are metal, the inside of uh, where it fits in is metal. Um, they sometimes bind together, so you can't just kind of pull this off by hand. If you put too much pressure, you're gonna find the metal flexing back here, so it looks like you're putting too much pressure. Hey, it's possible on your vehicle, maybe if you're in a, in a southern climate, maybe this will come off easier. But if you're not, you're gonna have to use one of these. I had to attach a little metal tip on mine because mine has a, a point on it, which isn't very good for, for pushing up against the uh, bolt. Um, so what I did was I just taped this on, uh, then I put this in here, just quickly to show you. Make sure your arms here are on the back. You then start tightening this. Initially, just to get it snug, you can do it by hand. And then once you, now in this case, because I've already pre-done it, you can see it already popped off. Um, but normally you would have to uh, use a, a wrench here or, uh, or a socket to get that off. So now we've got this off. Um, you can remove this as well, so that you got the wiper completely out of the way. This is the uh, hose for the wiper spray. We're gonna we're gonna slide this off. I don't know how easily this is gonna come off. We're gonna see. Doesn't look to be cooperating too much. There we go. Okay, so we got the wiper completely off. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop this open, and we're gonna lift off this panel. This panel has no screws at all in it, other than that one plastic plug I showed you earlier. Uh, so basically you just pop it off from the sides here and get a little grip in there and you'll see it'll start to pop off. Very similar to door panels, same idea. Door panels usually do have a couple, a couple screws. This one has none at all. And then you just pop this off. All right. So if you have a look over here, I'm gonna show you where the motor is. All right, so that's the motor for your wiper. Um, I can see two bolts that hold that on. Um, and possibly me, I don't think we have to remove the bracket, but we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna go back to the outside now. We've gotta remove this nut, which is a one inch nut. I have a wrench here, one inch. We're just gonna put this on here. This is not difficult to remove. Um, it's not really, Put on too tightly. There we go. So we've got that. That's actually um, it's made out of plastic. 
And then you've got this little cover here. So we remove that as well. Next, we're gonna pop this up. And we're gonna remove our two bolts here, which I think that's all we need to remove the motor. We'll see once we start. Yeah, I think this bracket's gonna have to come off because uh, we need to be able to pull the motor straight out. There we go. And the motor is out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this plug here. Looks like there's a little tab. You pull this up, or at least unlock it, and then I should pop out. There we go. So here's your motor for your rear wiper. Um, as I said earlier, normally um, this will not require replacing unless it's not working at all. Um, so what we need to do here is this shaft's gonna have to be removed from the unit. So we're gonna have a look at uh, how to do this. All right, okay, so what we've got here, you're gonna notice there's a couple little plastic tabs, one here, um, this seems to be the main one. So if you pull this one back and you gently pull straight up, you're gonna see that circuit board comes right off, okay? So be gentle with it, because if you, if you ruin this, you're probably looking at buying a new motor. Now we're able to get the last uh, screw out, and then this will hopefully give us access to the shaft. All right, so what I've done now is I've, I've bent this back just a little bit, because what I need to do now is put a nut on here and bang the shaft out of the housing. So I'm gonna do that now. I think we're pretty much out. You can see the gear there. All right. So I'm gonna remove this nut and we should be able to slide this out. That is like seriously seized. Okay, so I'm gonna continue doing this with, uh, with my punch and get this out. All right, so what we did here was we, we basically just put this on an edge here. Um, we put a, a punch here and then we, we hammered it down so that the shaft came out a little more. Um, now I was able to loosen the shaft out by hand and you can see there's quite a bit of resistance there. Be careful when you're pulling it out. Don't damage these contacts. Try and do, try and leave everything exactly the way you found it. Um, here we've got your, uh, um, that's where your motor has the gear uh, shaft that actually hooks up with this and turns your wiper. Um, so just try and leave everything intact, don't mess with anything. Now the problem, the reason this is not turning properly is here, and I can feel it, there's a little bit of corrosion here. Um, so I'm going to clean this up, but I think most of it is inside the shaft. And actually if you look right in the middle there, it might be a little bit hard to see in the camera, you can see areas of corrosion in there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, do my best to clean that up. Um, maybe I'll try and put some uh, sandpaper in there. I don't know how successful that'll be. Um, worst case scenario, I'll put some anti-seize compound on the shaft after I sand this down. And I'll try and clean the inside of the hole here as best I can. And then lube it up. Um, again, I'll probably use anti-seize compound because that stuff will, will never dry out or it doesn't dry out for a very long time. Then I'm gonna reinstall the shaft and put it all together. So let's see how that all works out. I'm gonna sand the shaft here a little bit. I can feel a little bit of a lump here, probably from the uh, corrosion that's happening inside the shaft. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just sand this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna try and clean out the inside of the shaft. So I've, uh, I've sanded the uh, the shaft here, it's pretty smooth now. Um, used a little bit of, uh, I don't know what uh, grit, medium grit sandpaper. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, and then what I did was I got a screwdriver that was just slightly smaller than the, uh, the in inside of the shaft. And I've taped on one end. And now what I did was I, um, I've, I've slipped this in and you can see it just barely goes in. And then what I did was I sanded this. So you can do this two ways. You can either turn it, right, and turn it so that the, in the way that the sandpaper does not get removed off the shaft, or off the screwdriver, I should say. 
So you can spin that around. You can also go up and down and press it a little bit up against the side, which will clean up the inside of the shaft. Once you're done that, then what you can do, and again, like I said, you can turn it a bit, you can go up and down. Once you've done that, then you can put it in the other side and do the same thing there. The shaft's not that long, so if you do half and half, you're gonna be fine. Let me just tighten this up a little bit here. If the, if the sandpaper gets a little bit loose, you'll find it hard to get in there. So I've just tightened it up a little bit, and now I'm able to get it in again. So now what I'm gonna do, sand this back and forth, same thing. I'm gonna spin it a few times. Okay, so once you get this all done, I found with mine, uh, the sandpaper got quite dirty. There was a lot of uh, black sort of smut on there. And uh, once I sanded it all up, it came pretty clean. So when I take this out, you're gonna see there's a little bit of black there still. Now, when you test this, take your, your gear here with the shaft, this should go in nice and easy, okay? Now I will lube this before I, um, I, I do the final assembly, but I'm just doing a test right now. So I'm gonna put this in. And I want to see that this just goes in nice and easy all the way to the end. Look at that. Very little effort all the way to the end. So that tells me, although I can't spin it because it is connected to the motor here. You've got your, your gear drive here. Um, so it won't spin. However, the in, in and out, nice and smooth. Whereas before it was, it was stuck tremendously. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this. Um, I'm going to go back to the garage. We're going to put some NEC's compound in here. And, uh, and then we're going to reassemble it and put it back in the car. All right, so I've got some anti seize compound. And what I'm going to do is I've uh, finished cleaning the inside of the shaft. It's all good. Um, I'm going to, I've, I've sanded this down. I'm going to put some anti seize compound all on here. Uh, the nice thing about anti seize compound is it does not um, get thick over time. It also prevents metals from corroding together. So hopefully this will be a good long-term solution for this, um, I'm hoping. Okay, you're going to notice this little spline here. I've also put some anti seize compound on there. So that spline actually is going to, uh, it's the rear wiper that's going to come on this or, or fit into that. And that usually seizes onto the wiper. So hopefully that'll prevent that in the future as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slide this right into the shaft. You can see I got anti seize compound all over it. I'm going to slide it in. And we should have a nice, look at that, nice and easy. It's going in no problem at all. And once we get this all together, we should have wipers again. Or rear wiper, I should say. All right, so what I'm going to do next, um, you're going to notice here I've got, um, I've got two screws here that have to go in. But the first one I'm going to put in is right here, the one that's on the inside of the case. Okay, so we've got um, our cover back on here. The gear is behind behind the cover, it's right here, and then here's your shaft. Um, when you reinstall the gear with the shaft, make sure that it's approximately in the same position as when you removed it. That is important. If you don't put it in properly, you won't get proper fitment here, and obviously the contacts will be in the wrong place. So we've got that done. Now we're gonna slip the uh, circuit board back on, um, and that's gonna go on. So you can see these metal contacts here. This one looks a little bit bent. We're gonna get that back out. So this slides right into there. Okay, so there we go. You can see here's the contacts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's a couple empty slots that help line up the circuit board. So once you get those all lined up properly, you can push it all the way down. And then once your plastic clips engage, that's where it needs to be. Okay, so we're good. Um, now this cover is gonna go on top. Um, looks like right here okay so I've got the bracket back on we've got our two bolts here which I've tightened up um, the front here we've got the shaft put together um, with the gasket and this plastic tube here and now what we're gonna do we're gonna line this up for the hole and then you can see we've got two bolts we need to put in here Now we're ready to try it. All fixed. <laughs> 